Hey guys, hope you're back with another Raid Shadow Legends video. The Telerian Trials. The most exciting thing that ever happened to Raid and we don't really care about is happening right now. It's going to be ending this week. This coming week on the 18th of August is when all our efforts, which I don't know if anybody really tried actively to do the Telerian Trials, uh, have been completed. So the Telerian Trials goal has been reached. They even have a new section here. So this was so such a bad move from Plyum. If you guys don't know already what this was, they basically set up different goals for each dungeon and they thought that everybody would come together to try and get those done, the trail trials done, in order to get those amazing rewards which will be distributed, given out to everybody when this is done. So they put up a page which they said they weren't even calculating correctly and suddenly they started calculating correctly and some of these goals started getting completed so the uh, spiders then beat stage 25 uh, how much is that 17 million times has been completed so we're gonna get a rank for chicken which is honestly amazing who who doesn't need rank for chicken then the faction crypts beat stage 21 has also been completed at uh, three and a half million times with a six star legendary chaos or which is not that bad honestly I'm, I'm being honest here it's not that bad but it, it's it's just one okay then we have the fire nice castle which we're gonna get 50 xp brews that's about 50 cents worth of value right there and then beat the uh the ice column stage 25 how much is this it, how much is this what a million times only is that how much you value ice golem speak and we're gonna get a rank five chicken which again isn't that bad so <laughs> all of these uh will be happening i think by the end of the 18th of august we're gonna have maybe dragon's lair also completed for 300 energy that's a good um one dollar value then the tag arena will not be completed the classic arena will probably be completed we're gonna get an epic skill tome the hydra keys will not be completed xp barrel right there demon lord keys these should have been completed the the quickest of them all because this has been very surprising to me i did not expect it not to be completed um and yeah uh, the reason for this is that everybody does clan boss apparently not everybody does clan boss from what it shows because this is going to be completed by uh, by the 18th but come on I, I i don't know what's up with this so the bad thing from Plyum on this was that they didn't make the targets um approachable by everyone even the newer players were, were gonna be like okay i can't do stage 25 so i'm just gonna wait for the end game players to carry me that doesn't make sense player I mean, you should have added this to everybody since you were also offering the packs to everybody if you didn't notice the shop there was these uh telerian trials offers for what two and a half thousand energy plus some multi battles plus some classic arena refills for 15 dollars 15 euro uh, that was that was such a bad move by Plyon. This should have been five dollars at at most for this value, all right? Just to make people buy them and feel like they're helping out with the trials at least or something. But the real point of the video is what they are gonna do or what they're planning to do after this. If you didn't know or notice, is that on the bottom right here, uh, well, what they're saying is that the performance in this event, so the Tel Telerian trials will determine the rewards for everybody in the champion training event running from august 22 to august 27 so a champion training event champion training event all right not a tournament a champion training event which will give rewards to everybody so it won't be a competition so not like the champion training tournaments this will go on for five days it's gonna start on the 22nd so next monday well not this monday so not tomorrow but next monday and it's gonna have some special rewards what are those rewards gonna be i'm guessing those rewards will be nothing all right uh they they will never do anything like what they did uh with the chime train i've noted down the the dates right here uh, so on march around the 15th of march we had the champion training tournament for Crisk, and that was one Crisk for every 100 mem members who competed in that and then on June the 4th, we had the Kaioku event for uh, just, just doing champion training for Kaioku. So since this is going to be a champion training event, this will not be a champion given through champion training. This will probably just be some chickens, some energy, some books, maybe a chaos or, and that's going to be it. 
I highly, highly doubt and I want to be surprised by them, but they will not giving us anything more special than that through the Telerian Trials. I don't know why they thought this was going to be a great idea for content or just trying to get people together to do these. But um, yeah, Flyer, just be better. <laughs> trying to try to do these things with more thought behind everything, uh, like not putting targets that only the end game players can do, like beating stage 25 of Spiders Den. That is insanely difficult. You need very specific champions to do. If you even knew your game, Flyer, unfortunately, they, they don't know the, uh, the audience that well. <laughs> or how how many endgame players there are and how many new players there are. Apparently, they don't realize um, on how that works. That being said, on how to make these different to get everyone, everybody to participate, I would have started with every single one of these to be approachable by everyone and actually have it in-game for you to check on how the progression is done in a way that it would be very visible to every single player out there. You cannot have them be clicking on a link and have it on a third-party website or, well, a different website, not a third party, but you get what I mean. They shouldn't be going outside the game to check on something that they are doing inside the game. It should have been actively um, looked at like the way that the tournaments work. They, there should have been just a page here where you clicked on it. Instead of tournaments, it said the trials and have everybody track the progression or their participation in there. And based on each player's participation, they could have had some base rewards for each player so that when they bought that pack, they felt like good about their participation. They would get some guaranteed rewards plus plus the rewards that everybody would get from doing these and doing these different events should have been the same way that the classic arena and tag arena event was. So win or lose. All right. So it should have been classic arena win or lose. Right. That's great. It's it's pretty easy to do classic arena fights, although classic arena is messed up. Tag Arena should have been a third of the of the goals right here. It just shows on how many players actually enjoy Tag Arena. It it sucks and Plyrum needs to do something about it. Again, <laughs> they they need to, to change the Tag Arena. But for this event, the reward shouldn't have been. Wait, how much is that? How many millions? 25 million fights, win or lose. That's insane. And then for the dungeons, it should have been any difficulty. So even difficulty on stage one should have been included here and with the higher battles that you were doing you would get similar points like you get on the dungeon tournaments so you would get let's say the maximum points on 25 and the lowest points on stage one and everybody would be able to participate and get this progress bar moving so every single one of the dungeons would work like that then for the hydra this shouldn't have been so high it should have been Again, giving you more points if you're doing higher difficulties so that the players who are only doing normal Hydra don't feel as bad. And going back to my first point, if they were also getting some guaranteed rewards, they would be more actively trying to participate in the higher difficulties as well and get people to actually try out their teams and put some more thought behind the content that is available through the game. But instead, they just had it any of the Hydra keys to, to get this goal moving. Then going on to the Demon Lord, this is this is honestly the one that I, I didn't expect it to be completed this late. Because of the sheer amount of players that they advertise that they have, they have, what, a million active players or something. So with 40 million keys to be done, I thought that, what, two months duration with 40 million keys, one million active players, so one key a day, I, I thought that was totally possible. But apparently they don't have a million active players for sure and you cannot tell me that they the players that actually play the game right now do not do one or two keys per day like me personally i do three to four keys a day and you know i'm a i'm a veteran player so i, I expect people to do, be do to be doing zero to one but not reaching this goal the quickest i don't know what's up and i still don't think it was totally unreachable so this one was the most i was the most okay with this one and then finally, Faction Crips 21. Again, this should have been maybe Faction Crips 14 to 21, not the, the lowest one since those can be done multiple, multiple times with the number of keys that we have. But, you know, 21 is, again, not an easy thing to do, especially for most accounts out there. Not many accounts can actively farm them on auto. So, again, this shouldn't have been something that only a couple of accounts out there can be doing every day to help do these trials so a big fail by by player and we'll see on what the event is actually going to have if they're going to have 
something like a skin in there maybe the madam series skin the one that they're offering right now is the the good looking skin but the other one i don't know if they're gonna offer it to everybody as a reward through just doing champion training we'll just have to wait and see so this was the video guys i hope you enjoy it consider subscribing if you haven't already i'll see you guys in the next one see ya